Hello everyone. In today's video, we will continue talking about percentages. Now, in the last uh, couple of videos, we talked about what happens in these two cases, meaning when I know the part, uh, sorry, I don't know the part. Uh, the problem is asking for the part. But I do know the percentage and the total. We also talked about the case where I'm looking for the percentage while knowing the total and the part. Today, we're going to discuss these two again, as well as this part. So it's actually get black because we're not going to do that. In this part, we know the part, we know the percentage, and we're looking for the total. Let's uh, let's move this to the side a little bit and make it a little smaller. Let's see this in visual form. Here in this triangle, which I would like for you to copy into your notebook, you can see um, this, uh, the way that we solve uh, percentage, percentage problems depending on what we're looking for, depending on what we have and what we need. Because what we said last time was that uh, in percentages problems, we know two parts and we're looking for the third part. Uh, meaning that if I know the percentage and the total, I'm looking for the part. If I know the part and the percentage, I'm looking for the total. If I know the total and the part, then I'm looking for the percentage. And I use the two that I know to find the third one. So here what we have is a triangle that's separated into three pieces. Here we have uh, a part, meaning that if what I'm missing, if the, if the piece that I'm missing is the part, I solve it by doing the percentage, which I know, times the total, which I also know, and dividing by 100. If I know the, if I'm looking for the percentage and I know the part and the total, I, uh, I do the part times 100 divided by the total. Uh, lastly, we have the third case that we haven't discussed yet. When I know the part and the percentage and I want to find the total. In, in this case, I do the part times 100 and I divide by the percentage. This is the last case. So if I had a problem that said, for example, 15 is 10% of what? In that case, I would do 15 uh, over 10 times 100. Let's actually write that down. I would do 15. Oh, that's too much. Let's make that a little smaller. 15 over 10, so the part over the percentage times 100. Fifteen times a hundred would make a thousand five hundred. over 10 would make 150. So the total is 150, just like what we already know. We know that 15 is 10% of 150. This is where we have, this gray line is where we have all the data, where nothing's missing. We have all three pieces. And as you can see, it says it clearly here that 150 is the total. So my answer would be the total is 150. So let's use what we just learned with this triangle to solve these three problems. The first one asks, what is 90%, uh, 20%, sorry, of 90? What is 20% of 90? Okay, so I want to figure out what I know from these, which three, which two pieces I have to know what I'm looking for. Okay, so I have 20%. That means I know the percentage, so it's not this. I have I want to find 20% of 90. 90, in this case, is the total because I want a percentage of it. So I know these two means I want this. I want the part. Okay, so I take the percentage over 100 times the total. Let's do that. 20.
over a hundred. times the total, which is 90. 90 times 20 makes 1,800. And I divide by 100. I simplify this, crossing out the zeros, I get 18. So my answer should be that 18 is 20% of 90. Okay, let's move on to the next one. 50 is what percentage of 200? Now immediately this, what percentage, should tip you off that you're looking for, of course, the percentage. And again, I have 50, which is the part, and I have 200, which is the total. And it asks, what percentage of 200 is 50? 50 is the part, 200 is the total. So what does it say? How do I solve this? I take the part, so 50, over the total, 200, and I multiply it by 100. So I need to do 50 over the total, which is 200, and I multiply that by 100. Fifty times 100 makes 5,000. over 200. If I cross out the zeros, I get 50 over 2, which 50 divided by 2 makes 25. So my answer should be 50 is 25% of 200. The last question says, 60 is 15% of what? Okay, so immediately I know the percentage. So it's not this. Then it says 60 is 15%. 60 is 15% means that it's not the entire thing. It's not the whole, it's not the total. So my unknown here is the total. That's kind of uh, the whole difficulty of percentages is figuring out right, this 60, is it the part or is it the total? That's the only thing that's actually difficult about percentages. After that, you just use this formula right here. You say the part over the percentage times 100. So I would say 60 over 15 times 100. Sixty times 100 makes 6,000. And now I have no zeros to cross out because the denominator has no zeros. But it is 6,000 divided by 15. And I can do 6,000 divided by 15 
and do that vertically. And what I would find if I did do it is 400. So the total, what I am looking for is 400. So my answer should be that 60 is 15% of 400. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll solve some more of these and they'll be mixed up as well. They won't be in the correct order. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.